And welcome to The Bottom Line, where we try and break down the main business and economic stories of the day. Are your bills lower or higher? Is your daily loaf of bread cheaper or not? And why? How much does it cost to go out for Sunday lunch or meet up for, with friends for coffee? Today, we want to bring you a palatable breakdown of Poland's September Consumer Price Index results. And for that, I am joined by Poland's former finance minister, Professor Paweł Wojciechowski. Hello, and thank you very much for Hello. joining us. So, uh, it's the utility bills and how much food costs that really matters to regular consumers. And the latest consumer price index results, the CPI results for September 2024, were just released today at 4.9%. They were spot on with the forecasts. And there is a bit of an increase, not so significant uh, when compared to last month, but it's still there. And what do you make of it? I just wanted to hear your initial comments and thoughts. Well, year-to-year -year inflation is 4.9%, uh, but we have to remember that the base last year was quite low. Mm -hmm. I mean, the inflation rate last year was on the high side, above 10%, but the base was low because it was the month of September. What's happened in September? It was a month before elections in Poland, mm -hmm. and the previous government did everything what they could do uh, to uh, lower prices. For example, by introducing uh, uh, special discounts in electric electricity bills uh, with the discount uh, and uh, we have uh, seen uh, the prices of uh, medicine going down as well for youngsters uh, people under 18 years old and over 65 years old we have seen also so-called miracles at Orlen Gold, <laughs> which is uh, the largest uh, you know distributor of uh, gasoline in Poland uh, which uh, went down, the prices of gasoline went down, despite the prices in the world market, the per barrel of, uh, of, uh, of, um, of uh, oil went up. So we have seen um, uh, strange things, you know, happening. Mm -hmm. So the basis was lower uh, than expected. Right now? How do people and feel now, right now? And now, of course, it affects this inflation. So it went up to 4.9%. And in addition to that, uh, the government now removed uh, some of the so-called shields uh, that mitigate uh, the growing uh, uh, prices of, of energy and that causing the inflation to go up gradually. So that has to be removed, the, the administrative measures, and is pushing the inflation up, especially going through utilities. Uh, people pay higher bills in uh, housing, uh, maintenance, costs uh, and some foods you know not all of them some of them went down for example sugar went down but That's butter a good thing. yeah sugar <laughs> well, I'm not sure sugar <laughs> maybe not not so well but butter went up you know but 4.5% yes. which uh, which uh, which is very relatively uh, butter is extremely expensive at the very moment. expensive mm. actually went down went up uh, from the beginning of the year about around 14-15% uh, so it's quite quite high Poland's uh, current 4.9% inflation is obviously beyond that 2.5% target. Can we expect the government to adapt its uh, fiscal policy in the months to come, or is it going to stick to its strategic plans? Well, uh, the government, when you say government, is two parts. Uh, monetary policy mm -hmm. and inflation is basically a monetary phenomenon and is in the, in the, in the hands of the National Bank of Poland, and the Monetary Council, who decides about the... Uh, interest rates um, so yeah it's say uh, you know we cannot expect much uh, from the monetary council in the coming future uh, maybe next year uh, the interest rates uh, uh, could go down uh, but in terms of inflation uh, the government has some uh, of course effect on inflation by removing those uh, those shields those uh, administrative measures to mitigate the energy costs so it's doing it uh, also is, um, have relatively mm, uh, strong expansionary policy. Uh, also, you know, if you're looking at the labor market, uh, it's quite resilient to, to unemployment. The unemployment is a very low level. Uh, so it's actually, you know, pushing the nominal and real wages up. You have seen uh, quite high uh, increases of, uh, you know, minimum wage of 20% and the minimum wage is pushing other wages. So all together is actually pushing the wages up. So all of it is, is, is fueling the inflation, especially in the, in the utilities uh, sector, you know.
It's well, services. speaking speaking about uh, employment and minimum wages, uh, I wanted to ask about the impact of labor costs on inflation. Is there a relationship of that? Because we've seen an 11% increase recently, and there is another uh, expected minimum wage increase uh, coming up next year. Can you tell us anything about the inflation that we see at the moment? Can we expect anything uh, more in terms of that in the in the year to come? Uh, yes, uh, definitely. The the minimum wage uh, is pushing the wages altogether. You know, we have in the past we have seen that the minimum wage was below the the average wage, but but was about forty five percent. Now it's about fifty five percent of average. So. The minimum wage is actually doing two things, you know, it's pushing up the labor costs at the same time as pushing, is, is actually, uh, you know, kind of making, uh, you know, this, uh, 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 you know, having, having a convergent effect on the, on the, on the wages. So the wages, there's no such a, such a dispersed wages in the economy, but altogether, I would say, the wages is, is contributing to, to, to inflation. Mm -hmm. We've had some initial analysis come in from Credit Agricole in response to today's results, and there are suggestions that the CPI and core inflation are expected to stay at this steady level until the end of the year, and then to expect inflation to go back down, more or less between 1.5, 3.5% next year, which is expected to be that target level for the Polish National Bank. Do you think that this is a realistic expectation? And also, what factors uh, are dependent on uh, on this f for for these levels to be met? Yeah, it's actually this is what will happen. And this is probably what uh, we'll we'll know when they have a new uh, national bank uh, of Poland projection uh, for inflation uh, coming soon, I think in November, and then next one will be in in, in March. So we talk we're talking about. Uh, for example, the the, lev, the uh, you know once the, the 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 some of the administrative measures are taken away uh, on energy prices, we can see, for example, the inflation going up still in the beginning of 2025. So in the first couple of months, but then gradually go down maybe to four percent next year. The question is when the National Bank of Poland will also lower the interest rates. You know, interest rates have also effect on. Mm -hmm. Of course, on, um, uh, on you know could be lowered when inflation is lower, but uh, but uh, of course uh, interest rate has also effect on the housing market because people are waiting to see the uh, lower interest rates to 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 buy mortgages. So uh, so in fact you know it is uh, two sides of the of the same uh, situation. But altogether you know the, the the interest rates will probably not go down before March next year. Okay, so we just have to sit tight. And just as we wrap up, I was wondering whether you could tell our viewers, because everyone's complaining about prices going up, utility bills, now winter is just around the corner, food prices are going up. But what about the broader impact of inflation on the economy? Well, there's two, two facts, you know, I would say not a side effect, but you know, one is a positive effect so not for the government, because uh, once the inflation is higher, has more revenues, especially VAT tax. Uh, and uh, for employers, you know, they can shield themselves or they can mitigate the effect of inflation by having indexation uh, of their, you know, uh, wage contracts, you know, remuneration contracts with uh, remuneration, you know, tightened with inflation. And so, you know, some housing contracts you can see in rental places, you can see renum also the indexation. So it's all like a, like a spiral. Uh, definitely there is no in the economics, you cannot say that inflation is a benefit to the economy. It's rather the hidden taxation to citizens uh, if it's too high. In Poland, it's still not very high. You remember the last year was over 10%. Now we're going into moving the, the inflation. It's always harder to get down to last moment of close to the uh, to the um, to the goal of um, of reducing inflation to 2.5%. Uh, but uh, altogether, it's, it's 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 not a good phenomenon to to citizens. You know, they, this is a you know, kind of a hidden taxation. You know, uh, to citizens. But of course, you know, it's not bad. Uh, you know, if if uh, if it goes with the growth of the economy, and you have a growing economy, of uh, almost almost uh, over three percent this year, and of 
almost 4% next year, so it's, it's not bad. Okay, so you're optimistic. I'm quite optimistic okay. about that. All right, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very today. much. And that was Professor Paweł Wojciechowski, former finance minister of Poland. And thank you very much for joining us on Business Arena. Make sure you join us every weekday at 5 p.m. I was your host, Marie Cato. And stay with us now. World Talks is coming up next.